iPhone 6s Plus iOS 11 speed test. That video is coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to this iPhone 6s Plus iOS 11 speed test. This video comes off the request of a few subscribers asking, Nick, can I go ahead and get a speed test on 6s Plus? And I got this guy right here on iOS 11, so we're gonna go ahead and do that here. Now in this video, I'm gonna share with you like 10 different tests. We're gonna do a boot up test, a general user test. We're going to do a systems app test, daily app test, gaming apps test. We're gonna do a multitasking test, browser test, as well as camera test, in Geekbench test, and then we're gonna wrap it up with some conclusions. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and begin with the boot up test in three, two, and one, let's go. And let's see how long it takes the iPhone 6S Plus to boot up here. From my previous testing, it was about 25 to 30 seconds here, and that's about on par with what it was on iOS 10.3.2 for me. When I first got this phone on iOS 9, I believe it was doing like nine seconds on the boot up. So it definitely has decreased on these newer versions of iOS, but it's looking pretty good here so far for a first release beta. You should see it turn on within the next 10 seconds or so here on this boot up. We are gonna do the general General user test right after this where we go ahead and we just run through the general system to see how things are performing but somebody did comment that the iPhone SE was really really slow to boot up and actually this was looking a little bit slower than my previous one so that one there was about 30 seconds on the boot up not the fastest in the world but not too bad overall so in this portion of the video, I want to do a general user test. All this is is where I swipe through the UI, go through some settings, just go ahead and check everything out just to see if there's any glitches or hangs when just running through the applications and stuff like that. So you can see right there, pretty smooth on the app tray right here, scrolling up from the control center. It did look like it hanged just a little bit on the first try there. Let's see if everything works here. Flashlight works there. Let's go on the clock here that went into clock a little bit slow there so you can see definitely still buggy here on that regard so going into let's see the calculator here you can see a little bit slow there to open that up here going into the camera a little bit slow there so pretty slow here so far on iphone ios 11 iphone 6s plus animations are a little choppy as well but it doesn't run horribly here for the a9 cpu in the iphone 6s plus all right guys so now let's go ahead and open up some system based applications such as the file system right here you can see not bad on the load right there control center from landscape mode not too buggy there on this first edition so not bad let's see how the vo volume and brightness works here so that works pretty good here you can press in on 3d touch to get a little bit more in depth there coming back into the home screen we're going to go into some other system based apps here let's go into the calculator and you see that doesn't rotate into landscape unfortunately actually it does so prove me wrong right there but there it goes let's go into calendar and you can see not bad there on a the system app. A little bit slow. You see that animation is definitely delayed and that's not nice to see on the 6S Plus because the 6S Plus is pretty much a monster in everyday use. So going into the app store, you're gonna see that this doesn't rotate yet. So we don't have rotation yet on the app store for the iPhone 6S Plus or bigger devices like the 6 Plus here, but everything is working pretty smoothly in terms of this new UI update here for the 6S Plus. But overall, applications on system-based apps aren't too bad right here on the first edition. Still slower than iOS 10.3.2 though. But what about some daily applications? Let's go ahead and run through some dailies like Instagram, for example. You can go ahead and follow me on Instagram, underscore Nick, underscore Ackerman. I do chat with you guys here as well. I post every day about things going on with the channel. So that's down below in the description area. App Store right here, not bad. We were just in there actually. Let's go into YouTube. Some people have been complaining about YouTube in this first beta but I'm not seeing too much issues there sometimes a little white bar up there and the search bar is not showing so you see how it's a little bit slow there to show the search bar and I could show you one thing that's not working here in iOS 11 snapchats working just fine here in iOS 11 a little bit slow to open a little bit delayed as with most of these daily applications here but gaming is not working too well but we're gonna show that in the games test but other than that everyday system apps are working well as well as these daily apps are working pretty well but not everything is ready to go yet for iOS 11. So you might run into some issues here when opening these applications that aren't updated for iOS 11. 
So I have been running into some issues on the iPhone 6s Plus when it comes into gaming. So let's go into Dead Trigger. You see I cannot open it. It needs to be updated for iOS 11 and here's a problem with running the beta. Also going into Jetpack Joyride, these lighter games have been running fine on the 6s Plus. No issues there. You can play this Pokemon game Magikarp. You can also play Sonic Dash. No issues. Let's go ahead and open that up. It's just a little bit slow. So the applications just have a little bit of a hang. They're not responding to your touch quite as quickly here. And coming back out, if I go over into another game that wouldn't open up, which was San Andreas, one of the all time greats here for mobile, that also does not work here on iOS 11. So keep that in mind. If you're running those graphically intensive games, a lot of them aren't working here right now on iOS 11 in this first developer edition here. So gamers, stay away from iOS 11 if you're planning on running this as a daily driver. So let's take a look at the multitasking and see how the 6s plus is performing in this department for this first beta release of iOS. So if I go on the settings, you can see that opened up pretty good there. Let's go into Magikarp. Not bad. I am seeing a little bit of a stutter in the frame rate. You can see right there pretty good on Snapchat and it's a pretty clean new UI here going into Amazon a reload there on Amazon. But overall, it's pretty smooth so far. For being a first beta, I'm kind of impressed with the multitasking. Just not as quick as 10.3.2, even here in the multitasking department. We had a slight reload there for the weather. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and run a browser test here. Let's go into apple.com. You've seen that opened up quite well here. I did notice that iOS 11 does have a bigger search bar. It's like a big bubble there in the Safari engine. But let's go into cnet.com. Let's hit go and let's see how the Safari is handling websites here in this first edition. A little bit slow here. This might be the website's issue, but not great to see that right out the gate. Let's go to yahoo.com. Just go to Yahoo Mail, check this one out, see how that opens up, and it takes you directly to the App Store there. Let's go to Yahoo.com here, though. Let's go to Yahoo, let's see, .com on this device. Let's hit Go. And you can see, there we go. Not bad here for iOS 11 on browsing. So browsing is not going to be a big issue if you do decide to test out the iOS 11 for your 6S+. Plus. So here I want to run a camera test. Let's go ahead and check out the camera to see how that's performing. See if it's taking pictures just fine. And you can see it opens up just fine. You can snap photos. A little bit slow to focus there. That might be due to my lighting in here. Burst mode is working just fine. Going into square. Square mode, not bad. Pano. See a little bit choppy here, even in the photos. So time lapse is working. Let's go ahead and hit the front camera, and you can see time lapse works there. Slow mo, everything looking pretty good here in the camera. So no issues in terms of the functionality of the camera on iOS 11 beta one, but there is issues in terms of speed and fluidity of the camera. It's not quite as quick as the older official 10.3.2. So let's go ahead and run a Geekbench test here on the 6s Plus. This is an Apple A9 CPU. It's clocked in at 1.85 gigahertz. 1.94 gigs of RAM available. This is the Samsung CPU in this one. So I'm hit CPU benchmark and let's hit go. I will be back when this is done running here. So the final scores are in and we did score a 2489 on the single core and a 4377 on the multi core. These scores don't really mean too much, but I know some people like to see them and they might want to compare it to my next iPhone 6s plus speed test when it does update in the future there. But that is what we got there on the Geekbench. So what are my overall conclusions here? of this speed test well the iphone 6s plus runs pretty well for being a first developer edition a lot of apps don't work like games and some apps that aren't supported for ios 11 so i don't recommend you download this as a daily driver but it's okay to go ahead and try it out if you want to go ahead and revert back to 10.3.2 after you went ahead and tried it out here but it's looking pretty promising for this fall for your iphone 6s plus series of smartphone if you guys enjoyed this video do me a favor click the like button for me don't forget to request the videos you like to see if they might actually appear on the channel i do read all the comments can't be, get back to all of them but i do read them all click the like button for me if you enjoyed this video nick here helping you to master your technology be sure to be well i will catch you all in the next one and peace